In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Zn plus CH3COOH. This is zinc and this is acetic acid. Sometimes you'll see this written as H2C2H3O2. It's the same thing, just a different way to write it. So when we balance net ionic equations, first we have to balance the molecular equation. This here is the molecular equation. I can see that I have two of these acetate ions here. So I'm just gonna double the acetic acid. So that'll give me two of the acetate ions. I can also see that I have two hydrogens here to match these two hydrogens, zinc on each side. That's the balanced molecular equation. Next, let's write the state for each substance. So zinc is a solid, we're gonna write S for solid. And acetic acid, this is a weak acid, so it's a weak electrolyte, but it will dissolve, just won't dissociate. So we're gonna write AQ, but we wanna come back to that. Be careful with these weak acids. This right here, the acetate ion, when you have CH3COO bonded to a metal, acetates, if you know your solubility rules, very soluble. So this is going to dissolve in water, dissociate into its ions. Hydrogen, that's a gas. So we just write a G there. These are the states for our net ionic equation. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. Zinc is just zinc. We can't split that up. So that'll be Zn. I'll write the states later. And then I have this acetic acid. It says it's aqueous, but remember it's a weak acid. We only split apart strong electrolytes. So if we have a weak acid, that's also a weak electrolyte. So we were not going to split this apart. We're just going to keep it as 2CH3COOH. This is a good one to remember when you're doing net ionic equations. For the products, the acetate ion, the whole thing here is one minus. Zinc is always two plus. So we'll have two acetate ions plus our zinc ion. And then we don't split up gases in net ionic equation. So we'll just write H2 here. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're ions that are on both sides of the complete ionic equation. As we look at the equation, we don't have any substances that are the same in the reactants and the products. Everything's different. Zinc, metal, this is a zinc ion, very different. Here we have two acetic acid molecules. Here we have two acetate ions. So everything is different. That means that this complete ionic equation, it's also the net ionic equation. I'll add the states in and then we'll have our final net ionic equation. So this is our final net ionic equation for the zinc plus the acetic acid. Do be careful when you see acetic acid. It is a weak acid. It's a weak electrolyte. So we keep it together even though it dissolves. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.